My name is uh, Somnath Karal. I am from uh, Kolkata and I work as a software developer uh, at Goldman Sachs. I was having uh, gastric problems since last uh, five years and uh, symptoms uh, got worse uh, by the time uh, as the time goes. Uh, so I was uh, taking uh, gastric tablets since last five years. I could not able to stop it. Uh, there was uh, bloating after uh, each meal and this affects my sleep also and uh, eventually it affects my work also. Hi, this is Quail from Kolkata. This is the story of my husband, Shomnath. He was facing this gastric problem since last five years, as he told me. Most of the times, his work life and personal life both are affected badly. He could not sleep properly. He, uh, he was having problems every day after taking meal. Every day he was facing the um, biggest issue. So after that, we searched in Google. In Fracto, we got the contact of Dr. Manjunath Haridas, Manipal Whitefield Hospital. Hi. My name is Dr. Marjana Paradams. I'm a surgical gastroenterologist at uh, Manipal Hospital uh, Whitefield. It's very common to see people under a lot of stress, especially individuals who are, who are in a very stressful jobs. Somnath is one of them. He was working in an IT company and um, he was under a lot of stress and he was, as routinely, he was also diagnosed with what we call as uh, regular gastritis-like symptoms. He had already had undergone uh, endoscopy after taking some medication for which he did not cure. So these are very common and these are the patients who actually require proper evaluation. When he came to us, he was already having some complications associated with the gastritis. He was having what we call as a gastroesophageal reflux disease. His symptoms were more in the night and with every meal. Now, this can be controlled with medication, but unfortunately, the control was lost because he was more dependent on medications at this time. After we consulted uh, Dr. Manjuna Haridas, Somnath was going through some medical tests and, uh, and this test uh, took um, some, some time to perform because it is a kind of long-term issue which was not diagnosed for uh, last five years. So uh, after um, uh, performing the test, he uh, advised us to go for the laparoscopic surgery. And th these are the patients who really need surgical evaluation. And we evaluated him by doing a 24-hour pH manometry and an upper endoscopy. We wanted to see whether this can be uh, diagnosed properly without any further testing. But unfortunately, he also required 24-hour pH manometry. Now that actually confirmed the diagnosis that he was having gastroesophageal reflux disease. Despite diagnosing the disease, we wanted to do what was what we call as a minimally invasive procedure. So we wanted to evaluate him for uh, what we call as an endoscopic procedure. And this was investigated by Dr. Anup. And we had a multidisciplinary team meeting as well, trying to discuss what will be the best option for this patient. But in Somnath's case, uh, endoscopic procedure was not could not be performed because there were strict criteria that we have that we want to help patients with endoscopic procedure. So the decision was made that he would benefit from laparoscopic surgery. Now we all know that laparoscopic surgery is routinely performed in almost major hospitals. But being Manipal, a quaternary center, we wanted to do what we call the minimally invasive advanced procedure, a reduced port surgery where there are less number of incisions compared to a regular laparoscopic misinfantification. And this surgery, even though it takes a little bit longer time for the surgeon and more skills, you were able to complete that surgery without any complication. His post-operative recovery was uh, really good and he was, most importantly, he was free of his symptoms. This helped him to get back to his life, concentrate on his work and also get back to his normal social life. And I think this is very important for all the patients to understand. It is really not necessary that you continue to suffer by taking medications. Once in a while medication is okay, 
But if you are becoming medication dependent, I think it is very important that you come over, visit some gastroenterologist, or if you really want to see us, you can always come to Manipal Hospital and we are more than happy to help you. You will undergo proper evaluation. We have a dedicated medical GI team headed by Dr. Anup, and also we have other interventions that can be performed endoscopically as well. There are some patients who would require endoscopic procedures for GERD treatment and we have successfully done these procedures on some patients and they have recovered well too. But you would need proper evaluation. In case of Mr. Somnath, he required a laparoscopic misinformation. But we wanted to give him something much more better and we did this by doing what we call as a reduced post surgery. Today you are actually seeing a very different man. He's walking, he's moving, he's concentrating back into his work and is enjoying his social life. And I'm grateful that he chose us to help him. There are a lot of other patients who would require similar evaluation and treatment and we are more than happy to help them with these procedures. I tend to lack, lack of uh, concentration uh, and uh, I was looking for, uh, looking for the treatment and search over internet and found Dr. Mandina Haridas uh, and consulted here in Manipal Hospital Whitefield. So my suggestion, please do visit the proper doctor for this problem and I recommend Dr. Manjuran Haridas um, in Whitefield Manipal Hospital.